Good boy, you stay there and you be nice and quiet, okay? Hi, welcome to my workshop. My name is Darren and this is 3D Prints in the Workshop number 14. Got quite a few things to look at today and I will save the very best to last. Um, we've got mostly tool hangers for Ryobi tools. There's quite a few available out there uh, and there's some that aren't that I've had to build myself. And I've also got a couple of bits for the workbench that you may have seen in the previous workbench videos. I've got these little guys so we'll go over them as well. All right, we've got a lot to get through. Should be a very interesting episode, so uh, stay tuned. All right, so this first one is called a hold down clamp. Well named, that's what it is. It's a hold down clamp by Zero Page and uh, has proved to be quite good. I'll show you what it can do. All right, so if I wanted to clamp a piece of timber to the front of my workbench, for example, I could clamp it in my workbench. <laughs> At either end of all the T-tracks I have a little hole drilled so as I can just slide my item into the T-track. It doesn't have to be this, it could be almost anything. And I can then slide this across. Where are we? There we go. And clamp it into place. So as you can see it's got a fair bit of, we've got quite a lot of clamping pressure actually works well. So even though it's plastic, it seems to be doing a good job. I printed this one out of PLA and that was because I was having some problems getting PETG to work. I will probably print a couple of these out of PETG as well, just because that's a little bit more flexible, but certainly so far doing a great job. So that's the hold down clamp by Zero Page. Right, and while we're on this side of the workbench and have our piece of wood handy, Let's show you these and what these can do. So uh, I've already got two in place in two of my legs. So I'm just going to bring this board out a little bit so it hangs over. So again, if I want to work on a board, so I'm putting some pressure down on the top, might be doing some planing. I've got these little supports here to allow some downward pressure on the timber. I've got three of them, one for each leg. And now, as I mentioned in previous videos, these are tapered. There's a three degree taper on them with this end against the bench. So what that effectively does is forces the wood to slide down, you know, gravity and all, against the workbench and holds it in place. It doesn't want to ride back up. It will if you bash it, but then we've got the hold down clamps as well. So between the two, we've got quite a bit of uh, support on the front of the workbench there. My old workbench had a lot of storage space built into it as does my new one mind you but as a process of changing benches I've had to change the way I store things so I've decided to hang my Ryobi tools up inside a little cupboard which I'm going to build into the bench and I'm going to hang them up with these items so we've got quite a few different bits here to go through uh, for hanging different tools now sadly there's no one way to hang every Ryobi tool they all vary I'll show you what I mean so for example this is the hot air gun, and the hot air gun has a little lump here for an LED, which, for example, which by comparison, the glue gun does not have. Let's have a look at what we've got. The first off the rank here, excuse me reading my notes here, uh, oh, it's the impact driver holder by Khan Industries, and that's this one here. So, prints out like so, and uh, mounts to the wall. And I do believe that the impact driver goes on it this way. Seems to work very well so far. I haven't actually screwed it to anything yet. We'll get to that within this video. But anyway, that's the impact driver holder by Khan Industries. So I'll just put that to the side so we know we've seen that one. The next one is the Ryobi glue gun holder by 3D DIY. So where's my glue gun? That's him there. This one's really cool. I like this one. It's, uh, look at it really cool design he's put a bit of effort into this one and it looks different from all the others so yeah you can obviously screw those three holes up to the inside ceiling of something like inside top of your cabinet and slide in your glue gun and that holds really well so, 
Ryobi glue gun holder by 3D Design. Like that one. The next one is the Ryobi overhead tool hanger by uh, TJB13. That's this fella. Looks pretty cool. I like the way he's done the little screw hole lugs at the side. And the idea behind that one is that again screws to the ceiling of whatever it is you're hanging this from and your tool goes in like so. Now the only thing I'm not too keen on is the fact that uh, you don't get much. Let me see if I can show you better on this camera. What I'm not overly keen on is the fact that it doesn't come very far past the uh, edge of the handle here. So I think it lacks a bit of support, my personal opinion again. So I won't be using that one. Instead, I've made my own variation on the idea. So I built myself one that I feel comes right near the end of the handle and I believe supports the tool very well, especially seeing it'll screw up against something. So there's no way that can swing once, well not swing very much anyway, once it's in there. But you'll see that shortly anyway inside the little cabinet here. Okay, that brings us to the reciprocating saw hanger by Swanee, another one I'm very impressed with. Not only does it say Ryobi in it and look nice and solid, it's got a lip inside it that fits really well. It's got a bit of a piece of fluff stuck to it. I love the way he's done the lip. It's just really well designed. Look at this. It's actually designed to go that way, sorry. <laughs> Look at that. No, it doesn't even fall off. Look. I think these two are so well designed. Anyway, so we'll be putting that one through its paces. Obviously, that will do a fantastic job. It's one of the ones that screws to the wall rather than the ceiling. And that brings us to battery holders. This is a battery holder by RS Geek. Battery, oops. <laughs> battery slides in like so. And uh, it just mounts to your wall or wherever. Holds your battery. It's a great little holder. Going to do very well. But unfortunately, he makes them in two sizes. 2.5 amp hour, which that is. And 4 amp hour, which I don't have. I have 5 amp hour. So inspired by his design but not directly copied from it <laughs> is my own uh, and this one holds five amp hour batteries so I'll be using that as well so we've got uh, the 2.5 amp hour battery holder by RS Geek and the five amp hour battery holder by me all right so I've made a little mock-up of a cabinet we're going to go and see how we can go screwing all these things in place and see how well they all work So there we are, that's the uh, cabinet loaded up with all the holders, all the Ryobi tool holders. And I've got to say, they all work well, all the ones I've used anyway. So just to revisit what they were, and of course the links will be down below in the description. So we've got the reciprocating saw holder at the back. That's doing a fantastic job. And this is a relatively heavy unit compared to the other Ryobi tools but doing a great job there they're all screwed on only none of them have been glued so i can take them off and move them if i want to or replace them with a different holder for a different tool all right then we've got the um impact driver holder right there again works pretty well uh, and then we've got these little tool holders that i made there so i've got my grinder multi-tool and then we've got the glue gun holder with the glue gun in it obviously and down underneath here I've got my little belt sander I've got another little holder there for the belt sander and the reason for that is so because this is going to be a cupboard underneath the workbench so when I'm bashing or planing and whatever it won't fall over that holder will stop it from falling over <laughs> And then I've got the battery holders, the 2.5 and the larger ones there, all holding the batteries. I've got a little bit of space here I could probably utilise, but I need to save space for getting this fella down and out. Pull him forward, I've got to get him out of there somewhere, you see. And so that's my, my escape path for him, so I'll probably have to leave that area free. It's not all of my Ryobi tools, not by a long shot, but it's certainly got a lot of them into a small area. So that brings us to the end of 3D prints in the workshop number 14. 
If you've made it this far, then I'm guessing there's something here that might be of use to you. You're probably a Ryobi tool owner and maybe thinking of hanging your tool up. There's bound to be something in there you can use. Now this cabinet isn't finished yet. This is going to go under the end of the workbench and there's a lot more to be done to it. For example, I'm going to put a wooden surround on it, make it look a bit neater and uh, also put a door on it to keep the dust out. But that's not really part of this video. So hopefully what has been in this video has been of some use. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.